Hi everyone, Cheryl here, and today um, we're going to be putting together this darling little gingerbread gnome, and he's from Doodlebug Designs, and so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to just set him right there, let's see if he'll stay, okay. So the first thing I do is I separate all my pieces, of course, just like in all my other videos, um, it just makes it easier when they're uh, separated all the pieces and then we'll go ahead and grab the main piece I'm gonna leave that white and um, so the it looks like the first thing we're gonna be doing is the gingerbread um, because they go on first so I'm gonna use um, the tea dye um, I just love the way this looks on the little gingerbreads and I'm just using one of the little dauber things. Um, it works perfect if you want to get into some of the little smaller areas um, on here. So I'm just trying to ink up the sides and whatnot. So one of these is bigger and one smaller. So the smaller one goes right here. So let's start with him or her. And I did cut uh, some of my pieces in the color and I picked um, actually some design paper um, for his hat and his little outfit. Let's see if I can... There we go. You could add as much um, of the distress ink as you want. And so I think we're probably pretty good on that. So there's that one. This one is almost done. Don't ask why I ended up setting him down. Okay. So now that we've done those, we'll go ahead and get all the pieces on them. Um, so I think I'm going to start with grabbing. So these are the pieces that go across. Oh, I'm not picked up too. I kind of left them all in the tray. You can kind of see on here where it's going to go because it's right there. There's a little mark. And that one's the longer one. So we'll just set it there. And I like that the tool helps move it so you don't have to. I'm going to move that out of the way. So I just kind of go from one to the other really carefully with a fine tip on there on my glue. Okay, so we have um, both of those on there. And then on their little faces, I'm going to add a little chalk. Um, just to the sides right here. And the brush I'm using, I believe I bought these at Michael's. So I'm using the number four. I guess it would help if I told what brushes and whatnot I'm using. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. <laughs> and then I just kind of blow. If it's too much for you, you can uh, take a little eraser and take some off. But I think it'll be fine. Um... So now we'll just add a little dot for the cheeks. Hopefully I didn't lose any of those pieces. I lost somehow the band that goes on the one shoe. 
So we'll just use some black ink in place. And there we go. And these are just little pink. I just uh, cut out in pink. So that's that. And then we can add the nose, the eyes. Um, I did with a Viva Pearl pin. So I'll show that in a second. Once I get all these on here. Okay, so now we can do the little um, icing on. That one doesn't need one. We only need it on this one, so. Okay. So I'm thinking those are the ones for there. And then let me grab... the little icings. There's one. Whoops. Come on. They're all sticking to my... They were kind of all together. There we go. Okay. And then she doesn't need any on the bottom. I guess if you were going to use them, like, on something else, um, you would want all the pieces. Okay. And then the three little buttons. So we're going to go. And... I left them white. I cut them out in white because I wasn't sure what color I wanted these to be. So you can kind of do them any color you want. Um, there we go. Okay. And then she gets, well, she'll have two, I think. Let's see if I can grab that. And then we'll give her one more. Okay. So she really doesn't need the three. Okay. So we have everything. So, oh, I left my pins out. Boy, they're right in front of me. And you'd think I'd see them. So we'll just do this one green. So I did use G14 on that. And then BO4 is going to be the blue. We'll do the blue right here. And then um, I did red. That one's a little brighter. That's okay. Okay. And then I did a pink on this one. I'm just going to use, so the red I used is R35, and then I'm going to use RV02. There. Okay. So, now we just need to add the eyes, and I did use the Viva Pearl pin, and I'm hoping that these will come out. Oh, Gizzy. Stop. Um... Whoops. Hopefully I don't mess the eyes up. Now, if you don't want to use the pearl pen, you can come in with um, just a pen. <gasps> Gizzy. Sorry, you guys. It's my cat. He wants in the utility room. 
whoops, gizzy. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside to dry. Um, oh, where did I put the little pin at? Last time I lost it. Oh, there it is. So on her eyes, we could probably add uh, the stickles. Gizmo. It's okay. All right. So let's do the stickles. I'm going to use frosted lace. And this way that it'll probably be dry by the time we go to grab these. So um, I'm going to just add that to the icing. Just gives it a little, little bit of dimension and a different look. Okay. So we could set those aside and I'm going to move that out of my way. So I'm going to move these guys. Okay. So, oh, she has to go on cause she's the back. So I probably should have waited and I'm not going to add the rest of her stuff until, um, until I get everything else. Let's see if that's on. Whoops. There we go. Okay. So she's on. And so the next is we're going to use some green. And you can pick any green you want. I'm going to use the moss. And I swear I left a dauber out here with the green on it. Of course. Oh, Gizmo. There it is. It's back in the tray. Okay. So we want to get the hat done. So we'll just... You know, I always think when I start my videos that, oh, I could have had one of these prepped and, you know, so you didn't have to watch me do them all. But, so there's that one. Okay. And there's that one. Kind of get those edges. If you want more or less? Okay, you could tell that is breaking apart. I may have to put a new one on that one. Okay, let me spray my hands really quick. spray some rubbing alcohol to help with that so the next thing we're gonna do is add the bottom part of uh, the Santa gnome he's so cute so we'll get that on there So with the beard, um, I took the C1 Copic. Um, you can use, uh, if you have like a light gray um, ink or distressed ink pad, um, you can do that. I just kind of go around the edge um, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'll just come in with the blender. And, and kind of just 
just in a little circular motion, kind of blend that all in and there we go. Okay, so that's his beard. So that kind of goes, oh, and then we'll put his little band in his shoes on. So on his shoes, I somehow lost one of these little bands. So I'm gonna throw that back. Um, we can just take a black pin and you can run it across the bottom. And that should be good enough. And then we'll add some glue. to overlap a tad bring it down okay so that should be good okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is add the band on here Now you could add it to the back of this. Oops, you know what I forgot to show you is I just went ahead and took R39 Acopic whoops, and ran that across the top. Let's see if I can get in the photo or in the photo in the video. Sorry, you guys. Okay, you could blend it if you choose. Let's get it over a tad and down. Oops, there we go. I think that's pretty good, right? Okay. All right, so his band on his uh, little jackets on. So now we're gonna do the beard. When I did get something in the icing. So the icing typically you wanna wait to the last to put that on um okay so that should be good let's see where he sits because he is right about there okay so now we can add um his little hat And so that's going to go right there. And I'll just add some glue to the back. Let's see if I can move that carefully. And then we want to get his little nose. So on his nose, I used E51. And I actually kind of colored over um, this paper I had cut because the paper felt like it was a little light. And I think this pen is running out. So and I just, there we go. All right. And let's add the glue and we have to slide this under
about like so. And then I can add this one. Okay. We could just add that. And for the little bell, I'm gonna color that with a yellow Copic Y uh Y15. I almost added glitter to that because I thought oh that'd be kind of cute. Um, but I didn't. And then you can do the two little marks with the black pen. Okay. And then same thing on this band. We'll do the R39. This one. I did kind of dab the, okay. And then we'll just add that right here because you can see the little notches. Whoops, and I did it backwards. <laughs> That's what I get for paying attention, huh? <laughs> okay. I guess I'm not awake fully this morning. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Let's see if we can put that on now. There we go. Okay, and the last thing is his hands and then this little gingerbread. And he's probably not dry, but we're going to add him anyways. And then we can add her holly. Okay. So we'll get him on there. And then he's got the two hands, and of course I've got red on this tray. So let's just wipe that real quick. Okay. And let's do the hands. E, we're using E51. Colored up. Yeah, sometimes I just pick what I have in the drawer of my extra papers for the Cricut, and this one I thought would look good, but I wanted his hands a little darker. They were just kind of light. Whoops. Ah! I'll just add it to the back of that. There we go. Okay. And I guess I'll add some to the back of this hand. There. Perfect. And then now we want to do her holly. And I used that same green G14 um, just on the little edges. And where is the blending one? And I know that has red on it, so I'm going to wipe it before I go in here to... Okay, 
And then we're just going to add a little bit of glue. And that, and that there. And then um, on the little holly berry, I used the Viva Pearl pin again in a red. And this is going to be a little harder to do because I'm kind of... Whoops, come on. Hopefully that looks good. I can't see. Ah! If I need to move it, you can just take the end of it. There we go. And we'll just let that dry. And now we can add some of the white. I'm using the uh, paint pen in white. And I don't know what size this is. Kind of hard to see, but okay. And so I'm just going to kind of bring in some little dots and some lines and a dot and lines, dot, and then a few dots here and there. And then, of course, we want a line on his little nose. Do his hand, and of course the tops of his shoes, and we can do the hat, and I think that's probably good. And so I think we're done. Oh, I did add little eyelashes to her. Um, <laughs> I had done her eyes a little different shape, and I don't know where my, there it is. So you could kind of come in and just add a couple or three. I'd have to wait. For, I definitely would wait for that to dry. I'm afraid I'm going to hit it. I'll have to come back in and fix that up. Uh... hope I don't make a big mess. Okay. And it's really hard to see what I've done. There we go. Her eyes are a little bigger than his, huh? We could just There we go. And so I hope you enjoyed my video today. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe. And thanks for stopping by and have a good day.